Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Java program to display all prime numbers in a given range. So in this case, uh, first we need to read the range that is the minimum and maximum number. And then we need to start from minimum to maximum and check uh, whether that number is uh, prime or not. If it is prime, we need to display. Otherwise, we should not display in this case. So uh, I have created this particular main class that is uh, prime in range. Now I will create a main method that is uh, public static void main. And then I will add a parameter that is string args square bracket here. Now uh, within this particular uh, main method, we need to add some local variables. Uh, let us say that uh, min max which will store the minimum and maximum value in that range and then uh, i will create one flag variable and then i will set it to zero the meaning is uh, the number under consideration is uh, the prime in that case if this uh, flag is set to one the meaning is the number is not a prime in that case now uh, i will go to this particular uh, next line and then i will try to create a scanner object here uh, so that we can read uh, the range from user scanner in is equivalent to new scanner i will pass a parameter that is system dot in in this case now uh, i will get an error here because we have not imported the util class here so we will import it this is what we need to do now uh, we will try to read the value of uh, min and max so we will give a simple message again to the user like uh, system dot out dot println enter uh, the mi minimum value you can say minimum value so user will enter the minimum value and then it will be stored into uh, min so min is equal to in dot uh, you can say that next dot int so uh, we have read the minimum value similarly we have to read the maximum value so i will take this thing again i will put it here i will write it as maximum value here and here i have to replace it with max now we have read uh, the we can say that uh, what is minimum value and what is uh, maximum value both we have read uh, i think there's a small mistake here there is no dot here also there is no dot here next int that's a function now we will start from min to max and then we will go on checking each and every value whether it is uh, prime or not if it is prime we will display otherwise we will skip it as simple as that so for uh, int n is equal to you can say that min n is less than or equal to max n plus plus so we will start from uh, minimum and then we will go up to max in this case so initially min is stored into n now what is the next question is uh, we need to check whether this n is prime or not if it is prime we should display otherwise we should not display that is as simple as that now the question is how to check whether this n is uh, prime or not to check whether n is prime or not we need to make sure that it is not divisible by anything except one or n itself so again we will take one for loop in that case i will take int i is equal to 2 because uh, divisibility by one is acceptable so i will take i is equal to 2 i is less than n i will take and then i plus plus here so divisibility by one is acceptable and divisibility by n is acceptable but n minus one that is less than n is not acceptable here so how to check that condition we will take if and then uh, uh, that n divisible by i or not we will check if it is divisible by zero uh, i the meaning is uh, it will return you zero so that is n mod i is equal to zero if n mod i is equal to zero we will set flag is equal to one saying that the number is not a prime here and then we will come out of this particular loop here now uh, we will check this particular condition again and again starting from 2 to n and uh, we will decide whether n is uh, prime or not based on this particular condition if it is divisible by any number in the range of 2 to n it is not a prime otherwise it is a prime here 
now what we do is uh, after this particular thing we have to cross check one condition that is if uh, flag is equivalent to zero the meaning is what the given number is uh, prime so we will display system dot out dot print ln uh, that is uh, we can say n we will print here and then I will add comma not comma I will add one plus and then I will add a space here next number will be printed on the same line uh, I will do one thing I will just print uh, in this case now if uh, flag is equal to zero the meaning is it is prime number we have displayed here now if it is not a prime number flag will be set to one but for every number when you start uh, uh, that is from minimum to maximum the flag should be set to zero that is the initial value so before we go to this particular next iteration we have to set flag is equal to zero here that's the one more thing we have to do if it is set to one we have to reset it to zero if it is not set to one again uh, it should be what we can say that uh, uh, zero only so this is how actually we have to write it so what we did in this case is uh, we have uh, uh, read the minimum value maximum value starting from minimum to maximum we are trying to cross check whether that number is prime or not if it is uh, a prime we have displayed it if it is not a prime we have not displayed in this case now we will see whether it is working fine or not I will right click and then uh, I will select uh, run as Java application and then I will go to this particular tab and then see uh, it is asking me to enter the minimum value I will enter uh, 10 in this case the maximum value it is asking me to enter so I will enter 20 in this case and then uh, it will display you the prime numbers 11 13 17 and 19 are the prime numbers in the range of 10 to 20 here I will run uh, it one more time uh, so that we will see whether it is working fine or not again uh, I will click on uh, Java application again it is asking us to enter the minimum value uh, I will enter the minimum value as uh, uh, 5 now and then the maximum value as uh, 500 you can see or you can say 100 and then I will click uh, enter you can see here uh, we got all the prime numbers in the range of uh, 5 to 100 here that is 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 and so on so this is the one more thing uh, this is a very simple program uh, where we were able to read uh, the minimum value and then the maximum value then we were able to find uh, whether the given number is uh, a prime or not if it is a prime we have displayed it if it is not a prime we have not displayed here in this case i hope uh, the program is uh, clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching